Uh, Saturday morning, started the Candle Heritage Trail. It's about 5.30 in the morning. The bugs are insane. I gotta get going. All right, just passing through Heart Lake. 14K so far. Uh, bugs are slightly less horrible, but still pretty outrageous. And uh, had a few nice samplings of the Mackenzie swamps, but the good stuff is still to come. So really looking forward to that. Oh, oh God, oh God. Ugh. All right, just cruising along here. Less than 10K left. So far the swamps have actually not been as bad as I remember, but the bugs are way worse. I haven't stopped yet in like four hours. I just keep walking. All right, uh, made it across the Karkadu River. Uh, my little boat floated across. And uh, now headed for Dodo Canyon, making good time for the right. Made it to the end of Dodo Canyon. Uh, it's about 5k longer than I was expecting, which wasn't great. But uh, I'm just gonna do a quick boil up here, have my dinner. I gotta take care of my feet. They've been wet for 12 hours, so it'll be my first time I can sort of try to dry them out here, and uh, then I'm gonna push on for the little keel. Just got uh, about 15k to go up and over Whore Hill, down to the Little Keel, and stay one in the bag. Good morning from the Little Keel. Uh, got in last night, was pretty bagged. Uh, did end up doing 85k, a bit longer than I expected. Uh, made it here all right, some few blisters on the feet, but not bad considering they were wet for almost the whole day. So now I gotta blow up the boat, cross the river, and get moving. much today because I'm pretty beat and uh, spent a lot of time just thrashing over cobbled rocks and needing my hands for the poles. Caught in a thunderstorm, it was pretty sketchy. 
lightning was really close, so hunkered down in the bivy sack for a while. But uh, I'm glad the rain stopped because I was really high up. There's no way I was going to be able to camp that way. pretty rough night last night. I uh, got pinned down by a really bad thunderstorm on the way up the Plains of Abraham. Had to just hunker down in my bivy, got all wet. The rain just started pouring down on me. Uh, I broke and I got the heck out of there, got over the top, uh, down to Andy Creek. Started raining again after I got into the bivy there and it was just like a cold, wet night. So didn't get much sleep, maybe an hour or two. Um, and uh, then I hiked up to the Kargaju cabin here where I'm just drying my stuff out. Uh, so we'll see. The forecast seems to be chance of rain for the next few days. So if this uh, weather keeps up, it's going to really slow me down. <laughs> making my way down the infamous Trout Creek. Just had a bit of a grizzly encounter. It was kind of checking me out and circled around me. Once he got downwind of me, could smell who I was. That's when he got out of there, but. Okay, so update from the trail. Uh, it's Wednesday morning. Came up to Trout Creek last night. I was just exhausted from no sleep. Slept for like 10 hours, feeling better. Uh, it continues to rain. Just went through the brushiest section of trail, so I'm kind of like, uh, like I'm just soaking wet. But uh, yeah, things are going good. Feel a lot better with some sleep, so. Out to the Godland River. It's a long haul from Chug Creek. The first section to the Twitcha River is just bushy and then the uh, Twitcha River, the Godlin, is a swamp city. Made it across the Godlin in one piece. Was really hoping to take a break when I got, or sorry, made it across the Twitcha in one piece. Was really hoping to take a break when I got to the Godlin, but now it started raining again. So I'm just gonna have to keep walking. Yay, some sunshine. Uh, yeah, here I am at the Godlin River. I think it's like 7.30. Uh, I'm going, you know, over 12 hours now. Um, just stopping to boil up my dinner, dry some stuff out. It looks like I might have a dry camp tonight, cross my fingers. Day five, just past Godland Lakes Outfitters, Candle Outfitters. Got to pet a cute puppy. Uh, feeling okay. Got a super long day, but uh, hoping I can knock it in.
class. Um, making all right time. I was really cooking this morning for a couple hours, then I just I kind of got all weak and wobbly um, for most of the day, but I've just been grinding it out. I just don't know, it's been rain clouds rolling through all day, and I'm really concerned about being up high in that last section, being tired and late at night with light baby here, so I'm gonna make the call down at the Ginka based on weather, whether I'm gonna try to push on or maybe baby for a while down there. See how it goes. Got a little boil going. The old school willow fire. Okay, here's the story. Uh, got about 30k to go last night. Just was like tired all day. I, I was running and, and doing really well for the first few hours and then just flat bonked. Uh, could have punched it in, but it was like, I could have frozen to death up here, man. Um, so I decided to just hunker down low. Uh, that's the downside. You go fast and light with light gear. You got to make those choices. I didn't have the gear to be up high. So uh, be over five days. Don't really care. It's been a great trip. Uh, just hoping right now that the weather holds and my plane can get in because I'm just about out of food. <laughs> 